Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lisa Butler. This is Douglas Butler, my husband. We're doing another video, and this video is going to be about the sodomite agenda. First and foremost, like you sodomites, or LGBT, or both, whatever you want to call yourselves, and you always saying that us Christians are always trying to push our religion on you, but it seemed like it's more so the other way around. You know what I'm saying? That you all are trying to push your beliefs and ways on uh, us Christians because it's all on the news, it's all on TV, uh, sitcoms, commercials. I mean, like everywhere we go, even the court system have your back. You know what I mean? So just like y'all want y'all right and in, in, in y'all say in this world, so do we. And when we do try to you know, have our way and say what's on our mind, like our street preachers try to get people to get saved. You all want to be violent. Not all of you, but some of you want to be violent against them. At least the Christians won't. We don't act in that matter. So, you know, it's just like, you know, y'all should be fair. And I'm going to turn this over to my husband. The sad thing, the part about this is y'all wicked sodomites, you know, transgenders, <clears throat> you got to use the Bible to justify the wickedness. I stand by saying, using Romans 8, that uh, nothing can separate you from the love of God and, and all this and all of that, right? <clears throat> See, that's talking about those who repented of their sins and received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You know, because you twist the scripture mm -hmm. to fit your wicked wickedness, understand? Um, you know, <clears throat> that, that angers me, understand? Because, you know, did this one uh, transgender go say that he's both a Christian and transgender? Can't like I said, both. you cannot be both. So that's a lot of the pit of hell. See, Satan is always, see, there you have it, folks. Satan is is really deceiving those in the largest scale i mean hard and 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 and, and tough but as christians <clears throat> you know if you are born again christian you can't see through that you see through it <clears throat> and I uh, know what the word of God says because um, the side of my agenda, you know, is going to have a rude awakening. Mm -hmm. You know, see, a lot of them die, you know, from, you know, AIDS, gonorrhea, and all that because they cannot produce children. Mm -mm. Only a one man, one woman can produce this. God says, um, Be you know, for multiply. and replenish the earth. So anytime with y'all believes in there cannot be no reproduction, that's what the mm. devil wants. He wants to be the total office of God. God wants you to be fruitful and multiply. The devil is the opposite. That means if you are a sodomite, then you cannot produce. You know what I mean? And then there's no, then the human race will eventually die off. And, you know, Satan is against mankind, so he wants that to happen. You know, what you're doing is wrong. Well, you know, you, the Lord gave you free will. Hey, we're just trying to say it's wrong. You know what I mean? And then you're trying to push it on our little kids. That's in the schools worst thing. With the, the, and in book publishing companies nowadays, with the two queens and two kings and stuff like that. Now, you know, children should be children. They got uh, plenty of time to think about serious issues like that, about their sexuality. But let them be kids. You know what I mean? Don't put that on their mind right now. They, they still ripe. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's just sad that, you know, that when a Christian person, you know, a parent, will talk against the agenda in school, then they get persecuted. And in back in our generation, when we were kids, 
That didn't happen. None of that. We didn't learn none of that stuff about homosexuality and stuff like that. No, five or six years old. Y'all are trying to push that on young babies. They're babies. Five and six years old are babies. Am I right? Exactly. You know, so I'm just saying, you know. That's abuse. Y'all trying to then you saying Matthew 7, Judge 9, and you use these other scriptures and right. twist them so it can justify <clears throat> y'all sins. Yes. It's a sin. You can't sugarcoat what you're doing behind closed door. It's a sin. It's nothing good about that. You mm-hmm. get pleasure, intimate pleasure from being married to the opposite sex. You God's I mean? way. The Lord's way. And if for some reason you got turned out or whatever, molested or something like that, repent, ask the Lord to help you get through this mm-hmm. um, issues you have mentally yeah. with your gender identity. And, uh, you know, and then so you can go the right path with the opposite gender. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, it's just all wrong. We're not for it. We're not going to accept it. I don't care how they try to put it in our face and how they try to force it. No, we're not going to accept it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't hate sodomites. No. And we're not preaching hate or for, you know, people to turn against you all. We just saying for you all to repent and go back to go to the Lord to come back to the Lord, repenting of sins before it's too late. Because you can't get in the kingdom, Lord God's kingdom, with that filth. It's filth. You know what I mean? Anything else you'd like to add? Baby? God's holiness mm-hmm. keeps a lot of people like the sign of my agenda from heaven. See, God is holy. He's just. And God says, be holy where I, because I'm holy. Because Jesus don't want no sin in his presence. No sodomites, no, no transgenders, no fornicators, or anything in that matter. And they're going to say, we're all sin. They're going to say, nah, nah, you got sins are worse. You know, sodomy, bestiality are worse. You know, then other sins, even though other sins are wrong too. But sodomy and bestiality is grievous to the Lord, it's grievous in his sight. So, um, I'm, I'm sick of tired of so called Christians in these so called churches mm-hmm. backing them up. Understand, they're not Christians at all, and don't forget the government and the government as well. Mm-hmm. You know, because look, at, at this all said and done. The Lord sees, the Lord hears, and the Lord is writing everything down and is uh and is ready to be judged when y'all die in your sin. And you're gonna meet Jesus at the great right throne judgment after the thousand year reign of Christ. Because see, look, we are so sick and tired of looking at you know, dudes just uh, he killed and, 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 and walking and walk have and a and stronger a, switch than I got. And, you know, and, uh, you know them being uh, looking like real women and and, and, and you know they are dudes and women and women uh, men wear men's clothes and and men wear women's clothes. Mm-hmm. See, abomination. Yeah, Deuteronomy twenty two five. I don't care. You, you you can try to get around. You can't get around that. It's talking about that is an abomination. Also, Leviticus 18.22 talks about, you know, land wolf, man, uh, kind as a woman, woman kind. It is an abomination. And, uh, and um, also, uh, lie with a beast. That's bestiality. Yes, uh, it's confusion. It, I mean, you know, people like that is cuckoo, cuckoo for cocoa puffs, twisted in their mind. And the see Romans one already pointed that out that God had given to a vile affections, you know, the the lust of their own hearts and the reprobate mind. Mm-hmm. So which means that they are useless. Mm-hmm. They're useless. There's no, there's no hope for them. Mm-hmm. Because uh, what's 
the conscience is here with Hananiah's first Timothy chapter four verse two. Mm-hmm. That's it for you. So, um, it God, is what it is. <laughs> God has gave him up. Understand? Because he said, "Okay, you gonna uh, continue to willfully do um, what I tell you not to do." Okay, I'm just gonna let you be in your own devices. And sad to say, you know, many of y'all is going to be in torment. And we're going to continue to warn you. We're going to continue to tell you this. Mm -hmm. And you may say, well, this Doug is a a hateful preacher. Well, we don't hate. No, we don't hate. We don't. Mm -hmm. And and we're not going to use the political correct terms gay no it's sodomy it's in the bible we're gonna say and then and if you practice that you're yeah. sodomite yeah we're not gonna sugarcoat none of none of that stuff i don't care what the government says i don't care what youtube says about that you know what i mean it's sodomy sodomy mm-hmm. for real first chris is six nine and ten talks about those sins uh, that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom, the kingdom of God. You know, fornicators, nor no drunkards, nor no extortionists, nor no murderers, nor family, nor abusers on themselves of mankind. Uh-uh. And then, and then it says, "You used to be that way, but you repented, and you were cleansed, and you were justified, and you know, in the sight of God." So, and also, and, and you know. Uh, on average um dating life and stuff on the average you find that more of them are coming out and asking you know heterosexuals out on dates now Mm -hmm. and um Mm -hmm. before you start doing that and being so open and bold with it first of all make sure that they are of your community by case of the mouth don't just come up to somebody random like, hey, I like you and uh, just wonder if we can uh, hook up or, you know, something like that. And you the same gender, you know, figuring them out first. See if they of your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But it's best not to do it at all, if, if my opinion, because it's simple. But if you mm-hmm. practice in that weaknesses, don't try to mingle with those like my husband and I that are heterosexuals. At, and, and don't deceive them, especially the transgenders. The, the um, it could go either way. The ones that look like women, but they're men, or the ones that look like men and they're women, because it can go either way. You deceive the wrong heterosexual, and it may not be good. We're not promoting violence, right? But it was a lot of cases out there. You can look them up or you Google them yourself on you know, Wikipedia about people who have got beat up real bad or handicapped or even killed because they mm-hmm. deceive somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They think that they are something that they're not. Exactly. And then especially if a transgender woman, well, man, because it's, oh, it's not a woman. They're not a woman. And deceive a straight man, and he find out that that is a man like him, he's going to be really upset. And with his right. mentality, right. even the nicest person can snap and, and just like lose it. So just be careful out there. You know, we're not promoting LGBT or, or you know, but just don't try to deceive people who are heterosexual, and especially don't deceive us Christians. Exactly. Anything else you'd like to say? You got a lot of cases that's uh, going on right now. You know, a lot of transgenders. I did a video of transgender deaths, and I said in my video, I don't. We're not condoning it. We're not promoting it. Exactly. They just break on broken on themselves. Mm-hmm. You just don't deceive them. Some people are mental. They don't have them all. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, and uh, until the Lord come get us, mm-hmm. God is getting to a point where, see, he says, you know what? God, the Father's going to have God the Son come get his church, you know. Mm-hmm. 
out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's going to be those on the workforce, those uh, drive, drive trains, trains, uh, rapid, you know, um, and those that are flying in planes, those that are boats, you know, ships, uh, they got believers in it, those that are operate drawbridges bridges around the globe. It's going to be globally in, uh, I'm telling you, it's coming that close. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they want to uh, be recognized so bad. Well, guess what? The only people, the only person that's going to accept it is the Antichrist. Mm-hmm. The Antichrist is going to come into power. He's going to mingle, mingle with all the religious leaders and the transgenders and the sodomites and whatnot together to form a new world order. And of course, he's going to lie and say mm-hmm. that, uh, Oh, we got rid of the Christians. We got rid of the pickets and those that 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 caused trouble and all that. And then, uh, and it was the aliens came and got them. See, that's what God had gave them a strong delusion that they believe a lie. First, that's on I was second, that's on this too. So <laughs> a lot of people are gonna fall for it because mm-hmm. they don't because they haven't read their Bibles. But some have us mm-hmm. drawing ourselves close to Jesus Christ with mm-hmm. anyway. Look, look. The wicked side of my agenda. <laughs> Just like this one guy says that we was listening to him, David Robinson. He's real. Mm. So we got to stand up to him. We're not going to be intimidated. And then, uh, you, and then again, if you go, if you're going to uh, go to go against me and fight me, I'm sure I tell you, I'm not that type of Christian here. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to defend myself, like I said. You know, at the same time, we can get persecuted, but I'm gonna defend myself. Exactly. I'm gonna defend mine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna defend, defend mine each other. right here. Mm-hmm. Understand? This is mine mm-hmm. right here. So mm-hmm. don't know. Uh, you know, you 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 sign my out there. You transgenders out here that 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 wanna uh, um, act mm-hmm. like a woman. I wanna fight someone, uh, a woman like her. I'm gonna get in your face, or so you gonna get your, um, you gonna get a beat down for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. I hear that. <laughs> For real. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, y'all have a blessed night, and just remember, unless you had something else to say, just like she says, we both go to sand. He <laughs> is not your friend. Your friend never has, never, never will, will be. be. He hates you. Yep. So, with that in mind, y'all have a blessed night. <laughs>